Is this six minutes long? I'm kind of busy, brother. I'm a busy-ass man. You'll get salmonella mosquitoes. You will die. You will get salmonella poisoning if you fuck around with mosquitoes. I forgot all about this shit. I almost got fucked up. We'll, we'll give some of it a, a glimpse. Year 2019 is upon us. Ninja and Fortnite brought Twitch to mainstream, and now the WoW platform is experiencing never before seen competition. In this new meta, it's adapt, evolve, or disappear. As a two years veteran failed streamer, I have decided to take it on myself to uncover the ever changing Twitch meta, study its ecosystem at its core, and locate examine and understand the apex predators now i'd like to start my journey and new study of this wildlife at the top of the food chain with someone who isn't hard to find true loud proud dynamic and rage and sometimes borderline crazy talon one is definitely That's me. sitting somewhere at the top of the twitch food chain somewhere but where exactly today the top the we'll tippity top to find exactly where this bald muscle monster not bald, dipshit. I can grow hair fine. So let's start with figuring out exactly why is Talon One standing on top. What are his strong points? How can such a fine specimen everything? I'm, I'm good in everything. In such a short amount of time. He must have crazy stats, right? Yes. Well, yeah, obviously. One of his most OP ability lies in his consistency. While Tyler tends to completely hibernate during his off season, and I don't know what you're talking about. I went on vacation. it out with incredible consistency when active. What other streamer can pull off streaming 12 to 17 hours a day? No five, one! 6 and sometimes 7 days a week. Yep. Who else? And he's done multiple 24 hour streams without breaking a sweat. 40! While five other hour. streamers tend to make a big deal out of attempting those and even fail often after advertising it, Tyler does it without warning and easily. He even streamed 45 hours once and promised a 50 hour stream. Ladies and gentlemen, that's coming! We've Someday. officially been streaming live on this on Twitch.tv for 45 consecutive hours. I'm still waiting for that one, by the way. Talk about a beast. It's on for the way. For this reason, this fine specimen gets a max consistency. Wait, why is my funny only 80? Streaming so long, so often, and the same damn game every time. Okay. It takes a huge toll on You don't gotta say that like that. Oh, that's awesome and all. How did it even make it to live servers? How? How did they think that was okay to even put it in the game? I'm so sick of this fucking company. The trash! Fix the game! It sucks! Blame the shit! And I'm fucking addicted! I'm not. That was content. So I can't quit! I'll just say that for content. And this is all content. I knew that. I'm done! I'm done! <laughs> for this reason, Talon One's mental strength is his lowest stat point. Come on! It turns that's out not using the blood rush ability is highly effective but definitely burns the user out afterward. So, to help its own survival, it has developed an ability solely made to counter Blood Rush's draining effect. We have yet to find a name, but I call it lay in bed for 16 hours and then go back to sleep. It's all about high energy, high intensity, high activity, but long break. It's a trait, but not really a negative. Now, like I just said, Tyler doesn't really play a lot of games. Yes, I do. Well, I'm a I variety streamer. He only plays one game now. It turns out sitting on top of the food chain does not save you from self-destruction. What are you talking Addiction about? Might be the name of the game here. Now imagine if Tyler One had migrated towards the Fortnite region at the right time, and as an apex, he would have put the same amount of work and energy he did in League. And one can only wonder how big he would have been. Yeah. See? Yeah. Well, thank God that didn't happen though. I could have played Despite Fortnite. Despite strong attachment to its current region, Talon One did once lose his home, and it turned out that he did just fine on other places, like the Great Undertale Sandman Desert, the H1Z1 Wasteland, where he would latch onto a much bigger species for survival, the Great Greek, and even the saltiest part of the Overwatch Ocean. Now, because of these observations, Talon One's variety attribute definitely isn't on the bad side. Six. After tireless Wait, testing I'm and research done in the lab. Talon One's brain has been proven to be one of his strongest side, maybe even stronger than his big muscle. 
with an IQ of 195 tested in its natural habitat and his highest recorded rank among the competition five. in his Season eight, five. We know Tala's skill is not to be downplayed and clearly above average. Now combine these stats and the high energy that he brings every time he goes live. Exactly! Five! 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 Blue to convertible! No hands! Oh. Yeah! It's no wonder it is sitting at the top of the food chain. Proud, dominant, aggressive, so how this game? daring anyone to cross his path. One of Twitch's apex predator is definitely someone you must be wary of. Me, Talon One. If you're if you're not gonna participate in the group activity, then leave. I'll link it one more time. The one, the only. Dog male. Twitch is a big, ever-growing ecosystem with unsizable wildlife, and I have a lot of time on my hand. Who should be the focus of my next research? All right, don't don't sell out. Wait, I'll link that. Actually, sorry, I'm. Sorry, I'm fucking AFKing a goddamn game right now. My team's not too happy. But, uh... Yo, I'll actually link that, dude. Give me a second.